everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa and I'm Potsy Fighter. And this is such a hard video to describe because I don't really know what this is. So this is, I named it watercoloring with my niece, which it essentially is. So my niece, um, if you don't know her, my niece's name is Laura and she's 14 years old, 14 in September, and she likes to do art journaling with me recently. She actually really loves to art journal. And um, when she's at my place, she's often like, do you have to film a video? And I was like, no, I, I, I don't. And she's like, huh. And I was like, do you want to film a video? And she's like, yeah, yeah. She really likes that. So, uh, and I was like, what do you want to do? And she was like, she doesn't know. So she says... She said she wants to do some art journaling, so that's what we did. And I first, before um, I art journal, I'm going to swatch my new um, Prima water. And well, when I filmed this video, they were new. I filmed this quite a few weeks ago, but I didn't edit it until now, obviously. And so yeah, so that's what I do. These are the Prima watercolor confections in the tropicals. And I actually really like them. I'm sorry about my face there. And in a second I will find out that this pen that I'm using is water soluble, which I did not know. But there, boom, found it out. But yeah. And my niece is just, um, so she's using the same, um journal as her palette then she's working in because I actually like when she uses my journal as her palette because she always has she has an eye for colors and she always has nice color combinations and um, so that's why I always tell her to just use my journal and then you know smoosh the rest of the paint around and this is a De La Rowney, um like a a5 sketchbook kind of journal and I really like them and so yeah that's what she's using she's also some De La Rowne acrylic paint and I think the silver one is just a cheapy one from Nanunana but I really like that color so yeah I'm just um, swatching my Prima watercolors in my that is a Marabou mixed media journal and also in the A5 size and I am going to do some what am I doing actually I attempt to do some flowers but I kind of fail and then make something else with it that I really really love and then do some flowers and then my niece is going to do some flowers as well yeah, I had a really hard time, you know, editing this video because I, I didn't want to not edit it because of my niece. But it doesn't really have a significance, you know. But still, I wanted to edit it because of her, because she really likes it. So, um, this is, uh, I don't know what watercolor paper this is, to be honest. It's just, um... No, I don't know where I got this from. And I um, soak it with water. And I will find out that I wanted to do some flowers. And this is what happened. So yeah, obviously I did not do flowers. But look at how pretty this is. Like seriously, oh my god. I, I can't even. This is so pretty. And this only worked with the magenta color that I used. So... And, oh yeah, some of the blue, but not really. So yeah, I just was like, okay, let's try this again. So I pulled out another piece of paper, wetted it again. Not as much though, although it looks like I used more, but I didn't use as much. And um, I am going to paint some flowers that... Yeah, and here I, I don't know why I went this big, but yeah, and I actually, with those flowers, I already, wait, did I use those? Oh yeah, okay, no, sorry, I kind of, um, forgot, 
<laughs> but I already used those uh, on a layout. It's called You Did It. And oh no, that's already up. No, isn't it? Let me check my planner. Um, sorry about the noise. Yeah, it should be up. Yep, should be already up. And so I really like those flowers and I tried some different color combinations and you know just letting the um, watercolor flow as much as possible and when I so my niece said she also wants to do some watercolor flowers so she has to dry her acrylic paint and work on that another time because that won't work and I just love the fact that a 14 year old actually likes to do art journaling because I don't think they know. So I really love the fact that she likes to do this kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this one kind of failed, this flower, but yeah. So now we're going to what I call it together and she also wanted to do the, oh sorry, <clears throat> the drippy droppy kind of effect, but because this is not mixed media paper or watercolor paper, um, it didn't work. So, um, what was I saying before? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I already made a layout with all of those flowers and I did add some... Um, accents with my black palette G2 pen um, when I made my layout so I kind of roughly randomly painted some accents like I, I outlined them and stuff but you will see that or you you can see that in um, in that video so this is a big big fail I I don't know what I wanted to do but this looks kind of meh and so yeah this is a gigantic ginormous whatever flower I did not use that on my layout I actually still have not used that but we will see what's going to happen with this with this flower but yeah, I actually really like those watercolors. I'm so glad I got them. I got them in my um, uh, form hip kit. It was one of their color kits quite some time ago. But I really, really like that. And yeah, no, that's actually all I wanted to say. So now I'm done with my flowers and I... I wanted to come back to this so I decided I did this in my art journal actually I did a page where I just watercolor -y drew circles and sorry I had to remove my planner and so I just like randomly draw circles and I overlap them and I put different colors next to each other and over each other and all of that stuff and I also made a lay. <laughs> My niece had fun with, with, um, the, <laughs> the water. That looks really funny, actually. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I also made a layout with this where I put. That's already up too, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. Um, where I use my new um star punch. I think it's a two inch star punch, but I'm not quite sure. And I just um, use it to punch circles, uh, no, stars, obviously. And I use it on a birthday layout. Matter, um, you know, if you don't think it is perfect or something, because it doesn't really have to be, because you punch it, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, that's my niece's flowers. I don't know what she did with, oh, she wanted to continue, yeah? She got those... Mrs. something, Mrs. is it Grossman, Mrs. something, um, stickers, the mustache stickers, and she really likes them. And I am moving on 
to swatching out my these are I have like two sh shimmer no shimmers uh, like um, mists and uh, that's those two so I have Tango Tango and Snow Wayman and I just wanted to you know um, kind of swatch them and have a play with them and so because my niece didn't want to stop and so I didn't and this is like all of these uh, all of these things are from Hip Kick Club. Like this is a stencil from Cartabella Cowboy something, and it's called Prairie Flowers, I think. Cow what's the collect uh, like yeah the collection is called Cowboy I don't know, and my niece is using some. Is it holographic washi? I don't know. And now she's using my Tombow black marker to draw some eyes. This looks so funny. Um, I love that she's so creative. I really appreciate that and I'm thankful. So these are my three other um, shimmers. I have Lepis Dance. Uh, very hot and old yellow and oh my god these are gorgeous especially the old yellow because I did not know that these were so shimmery like I had no idea that was completely news to me I mean you do have to get the color to work what is she writing flower power really that's so sweet I didn't know that I don't think oh maybe she showed me and some smileys. Oh, she's so cute. Well, she's 14, you know. She's looking at the shimmer. So, yeah. That was a very, very random video. Oh, what she's drawing. I didn't really... Oh, she's drawing some flowers. Cute. Um, so, I also swatched out the Mango Tango and Snow Wayman. Just so I have them in my journal. And by the way, the blue thing on the other side. My nephew painted that. So, yeah, that was fun, but he's not really into art journaling that much. But he he wanted to do this, so I'm really appreciative of them being that creative. So this is what my niece made, and that is what I made. And yeah, it was such a random, completely random video, but I still wanted to show because... Um, I always encourage my nephews and my niece to be creative and I think it's important for kids to have a creative outlet. So this is why I encourage her to create and if she wants it to be on YouTube, it should be on YouTube. So yeah, thanks so, so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!